Hi guys, here's yeah, another video from myself. Uh, yeah, I think it's been over a month or so since my last video. Uh, and as you can see in front of you, I've done some more uh, British Napoleonic command stands. I think I showed the, the figures a while in uh, the last video or the video before. I mentioned I got a job lot of Victrix Metal Command figures. Uh, yeah, so I'm, ju I'm just painting them up and using up other spare figures that I've had lying around as well. Uh, so here you've got two command stands. Uh, the one with the green facings here, this, this is two plastic Victrix figures on the stand with the officer. Just give you a lot of turn around. Uh, yeah, these will be slotting into my collection. Uh, I did the, uh, I think it was the Lincolnshire Regiment with the green facings, so that'll make up a nice little command stand for that unit. And I did use the Victrix figures for that unit as well, so that should just tie in nicely with them. So, as I mentioned, the, the Metal Command Officers are really nice figures. Maybe a shame Victrix didn't go down the line of doing more metals, but uh, there you go. And hopefully in the future they'll return to the Napoleonics. I know some while ago, uh, yeah, quite some time ago, they mentioned that they had Napoleonic cavalry in the pipeline, so hopefully they'll go back and do them. That'd be quite nice. On the other stand, on the other side there, same officer, uh, slightly different horse this time. And these guys are done in the blue facings. Uh, this stand probably I'll put on eBay at some stage or something. Uh, which I don't really need it for any of my units. Uh, so the two plastic figures, the marching figures, they're the War War Games ones, which, as I've mentioned before, not my favourite figures, but once painted, I think they actually turn out really nice. And they do tie in very well with the, the Victrix ones as well. Uh, yeah, see the guy in front, he's got the little bandage on his forehead as well. So as I mentioned, nice nice enough figures to paint. Uh, so that's that's what I've got and finished over the past few weeks. Uh, <laughs> I mean spending most of my time either working outside or watching the, the World Cup, so there hasn't been a lot of painting time, but I have managed to, uh, if I just turn the camera around, I think I managed to uh, mention the last time that I had just primed up my Amer next American Civil War unit. So I'll just turn the camera around there, guys. As you can see, uh, the other night I managed to, this first four are just about complete. Just a few little bits to do. Uh, shading, adding on the, the belt buckles buttons, things like that, finishing off the, the muskets and that and they'll be just about there uh, so yeah, what I've done was I've, I've uh, base coated the whole lot, the whole unit and then I've put on the two blue colours, the jackets, the trousers did the wash, did the dry brush and now I'm just going back, obviously re-highlight all the black equipment and then take it from there so I just did the first, I just wanted to see how these guys were going to turn out, so uh, yeah, I've cracked on with the first four. As mentioned, these are Perry's Metals, Union figures, uh, representing a unit in the, the Western, a Western unit. Uh, and very nice they are too, that's that guy. Uh, I've mixed in a couple packs with capies as well. Just so they're not all in the slouch huts. And uh, yeah, normal Perry sculpts, really nice indeed. I really enjoy painting these guys. So that's him. Uh, the drummer, yeah, a few things to do on the drum as well. As you can see, still, uh, I've done the grey undercoat for all the the, uh, the rope and the, the knots and that down the side. So get that highlighted up. Uh, yeah, nice figures indeed. That's him, and the last one in the stand -off. So these will be based in fours, the way they're set up. There's another guy reaching out his uh, ammo pouch. Way to load up. So as I said, that's just about there. I've got muskets to do, missed all the brass buckles and buttons and what have you. So yeah, nice figures. Nice to be painting metals again. So as you can see, they're all, they're all on their way there. Uh, the World Cup's finished today, Sunday. <laughs> I'll be watching the final, and after that, uh, mind you, the weather's so nice, I don't know that it'll be stuck inside, but we'll see, we'll see. Uh, maybe an hour here and there in the evenings this week. I might crack on with these guys. 
So yeah, that, that's what's happening with them. I'll just pan around again and finish off a shot of these two stands again. I said, yeah, that's quite a few bit of stands I've done now, but yeah, I, I really enjoy painting up the little command stands. It's, it's, it's a nice change. So I've got a few more. I think I've got another one, two, about four smaller command stands to do. It gets mounted officers and sappers, engineers, Victrix metal. So I'll, I'll work on them while I'm doing the, uh, the American Civil War unit. So that's an update for me, guys. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've been watching all the videos. I've been commenting on a lot. I've just been, I'm so far behind with them. <laughs> I've just been watching them and liking them. Uh, a few comments here and there when I can. Uh, but really enjoying all the stuff that's going out there, guys. Keep it up. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this little video. And we'll catch you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.